It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Detroit Lions and the New York Giants. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. Exactly right. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway here in London. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Right to the air, here is Goff. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Man coverage to start the game, and I expect we'll see a good amount of that. They trust their secondary to hold down the fort and let their pass rushers get home. And that's a good job right on play one. Now Goff. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. Fielded at about the 28. Following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now Jones. Pass is caught by Wondell Robinson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Throwing Jones. Flush to his right. Still going inside the 20 and down to the 16-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Back jumbo, back jumbo. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And everyone on their assignment defensively there as he'll be taken down behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Half jumbo, half jumbo. Off play action, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. From the gun on third down, Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Williams, a man in motion right. Throw right side, complete to Williams. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. 
Play action. It's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a herd or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is. Just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have. Make sure the ball is gone. Didn't happen in this case. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Devin Singletary taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point try good by Gano. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later. Pater Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 23. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Goff. And his throw is incomplete. And I think we're all starting to wonder with this early deficit, what will that do to their play calling? Do they feel like they have to be more aggressive? Because they're throwing to start the drive here, but it winds up incomplete. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, two snaps ago, I don't think anyone thought a safety was on the table, yet it happened. They cut him a back-to-back -back plays breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from a sack on either play. And on the last one, he ran too deep into the end zone to set up the safety. The New York set to take the field. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. To throw is gone. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. A shotgun snap for gone. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. 
multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ballgame. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. McKenzie now to return it. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Sixteen nothing. That's the score after one on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. And they'll come up second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. To throw again on second down, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. Looking to throw. Jones. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So no touchdown that time, but they do get three more, and now they have even more of a cushion. It's been a terrific first half offensively, so it's hard to blame them for not getting into the end zone there. But the way they've been moving the ball in this one, I don't think these will be their final points of the game. Now this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and ten. Right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run. And obviously, ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Second down and goal. Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton from six yards away. And the Giants continue to pull away here in this first half.
Gano the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Goff. That pass caught, it's Williams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First carry now for David Montgomery. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. There's Goff. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. Gano for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Taken down, Goff is sacked. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. They'll set up to throw. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. To return is McKenzie. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and ten. Jones now throwing to start the drive. He's got this complete to Robinson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Half jumbo, half jumbo. They'll look to throw here on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. From the 17, Jones. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Touchdown! Devin Singletary. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Giants are an extra point away from going up by 40. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the route is on here in this first half. 
So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Goff now to throw. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Goff now looks to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. It's caught inside the 25. And he's able to get this down deep on the Giants' side of the field. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Now Goff. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back into 32. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Call. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. So eight yards on the completion there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. A tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Badgley's kick is good, and that will do it for the... So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. He's had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, it was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Derek Barnes came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. A give up the middle to Singletary. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. He'll look to throw. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. 
Darius Slayton with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Gano the extra point. And the... Even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to take over once more. Play action. It's Goff. Throw left side, caught by Laporta. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. And the tight end goes in motion left. Off play action. Here's Goff. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the 50, it's Goff. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the Automatic defensive side hit. of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked him apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. What? St. Brown in motion right. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Under pressure again and down he goes again. That time multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Half jumbo, half jumbo. Now Jones. He's got Slayton on the slam. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Singletary here running out of the gun. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. Welcome back now here in London. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Cadence, lock in the cadence, lock in the cadence. Oh, go. He'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. 
And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing Jones. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. On the give, this is Singletary. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Second down and three. Half 18, half up. Singletary again. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Now Jones apparently a little unsure of everything here, so he steps back and signals for timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Up we go. Back to throw. Jones. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Here's second and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll get this out wide to Singletary, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Jones. From the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point try, good by Godot. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately. The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing, a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The Lions on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and 17. To throw is Goff. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This will be fielded at the 17. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Marcus Davenport picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he'll kick it away for the second time. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. Not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Goff now looking to throw. That's complete to Laporta. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about we're going to address. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Goff now looks to throw. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now it's Goff. Forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. He'll look to set up his blockers. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Darius Slayton and the rest of this offense about to begin their next drive. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They go right back to Singletary. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, 